I don't know. He may be out there warming up. Um, but the uh, intention is for him to warm up uh, and play. Not a specific minutes restriction, uh, but we'll have a plan. And the other five players will do special election, like last game or longer? Yeah. How does I, I know this sounds almost simplistic, but how does Kyle change what you already have? Is it just a matter of answer to it, or or what seems a unique player? Are there changes you might see in the first two games of this series? Yeah, stylistically, I mean, it'll be uh, you know things in the margins, uh, but obviously he's a highly decorated, uh, experienced playoff, battle-tested uh, guy, and uh, you know he's the guy that uh, all season long that we've turned to, um, you know, to get us organized, particularly in the moments of truth. Um, but, uh, you know, you just need, you need as many guys that you can have available during the playoffs. Um, you know, that goes without saying. Coach, I know you, you plan for contingencies, but with Joel, I mean, that's major. Yeah. How do you, what's your mind to say without revealing too much? Well, you do have to go through that, you know, process. You know, we started the, before game one, you know, with that process, uh, before we knew that he would for sure be out, um, at least just checking that box. Uh, then we just put it to the side, you know, for a couple of games. But, you know, I mentioned even before the, the series started that this series could very well, you know, take on, you know, three or four different uh, changes, you know, dur during the course of it. Um, and he's a big change, you know, figuratively and literally. Uh, um, if you're just trying to cram for a test and prepare for it, it right now and you don't have months uh, of experience of competition of different different kinds of challenges this, this league presents um, then it probably would be uh, you know a, a lot more stressful the bottom line is it's not easy to win in the playoffs um, and we don't want to duck uh, any kind of competition we, we expected uh, Philly to be at full health at, at some point and um, we want to take on that kind of challenge yeah, Bam does uh, so many things uh, that are versatile. Uh, you know, he's, he's great in those situations defensively. He's great uh, when he's on the backside of the defense. He's great uh, when he's, um, you know, in the help side. Um, so it, his, his versatility is so uncommon uh, and unique. Um, and his mentality, you know, he came into this league really trying to impact winning on the defensive end. Uh, and then the rest of his game has just really grown exponentially. Uh, but that's where, uh, you know, he really wants to, to make an impact. And uh, it's not a coincidence that we've been able to build, you know, uh, a very durable uh, team defense. Uh, but you have to have a guy like that to be able to do some of the things that, that we attempt to do. A bit of an abstract question, but beyond the, uh, the added importance of playoff games compared to the regular season, what is the biggest difference between regular season basketball and playoff basketball? Uh, I mean, the, the things that everybody talks about, you know, they're real. Uh, the uh, intensity level, uh, the attention to detail, you have more time. I mean, the fact that we're playing our third game against the same opponent, you know, in, in a matter of six days, both teams are very well-versed. Uh, on each other uh, there's no possessions off or you know when you do uh, make a mistake or have a possession where it, it's not your very best um, effort or attention detail or detail or focus uh, you know the other team will capitalize on it like that um, you know the crowds uh, you know are more into it as well um, you know, so it is different, but this is this is what all the competitors want. You you want to be in environments like this. You want to be tested. You want to uh, experience something that's uh, extremely challenging, and and also playoff basketball is. Do you do you think stylistically it's dramatically different than the regular season, and do you think that that difference has grown more over time? I, I wouldn't say it's grown more. I mean, it, it certainly can be a little bit different. Uh, it's a, it's a little bit more intense, a little bit more physical, um, but. But that's been going on for decades. <laughs> you know, I remember those uh, heat Knicks battles. Uh, that was a different sport when it got to the time to the playoffs. What's the biggest difference in your half court offense between its best possession and maybe its worst possession? Like, what's the most important? It's very, that's a, a, a layered question. I mean, I, that's probably what everybody's searching for, you know, in the playoffs. Uh, we're much more organized 
um, where we want to be. And a lot of that has been born out of, you know, some of our struggles, you know, this season and, um, and figuring out what would be the best menu and how we want to attack. And, you know, nobody's perfect in, in those moments, but uh, you want to be comfortable. You want to know what your strengths are uh, and then try to get to them, you know, in the moments of truth. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we've, I think we've made strides there. Well, how do you come upon disorganized? Like Competition will bring out like a lot, <laughs> you know, we have a plan uh, and Philly will have a plan of trying to take us out of those things. Um, you know, to go along with what we talked about earlier, the scouting is better, you know, in the playoffs, uh, they'll understand what we're trying to do and they're going to try to take us away from that. And we, we know what we're going to try to get to. And it's, it all usually comes down to who can get to who, who can make who blink. Okay, thank you.